Hello everyone, so I'm going to give my review on the D-Classy DR1 with the price of $3 million, so very expensive here. The customization on this vehicle is not too bad, obviously it's not the main thing you're buying it for really, for customization, like making it look good and all that, because it kind of already does out there just from stock. So it's nothing amazing from the customization options, but still some nice deliveries as well if you want those sponsors, you know, like a lot of um, F1 vehicles have, or most of them do in real life. It's nice to have those sponsors look to it. Overall, it's got the important things you need, but just nothing extras or unique for like this kind of vehicle, you know, it's got the main bits and that's pretty much it I'd say really. Kind of wish there was extra spoilers or something, but... That's just extra. But overall, you got the main things you need for this vehicle. Probably the main thing you want to know is the handling. And does it do a really good job? Yes, it does a really good job. Nothing to be disappointed about. You can even hold down the acceleration and generally it should turn no problem. And you don't have to like be worried too much. But that's if you get used to it after a while. Holding down acceleration and you can turn no problem. And plan it and time it right. That's if you get really confident. If you're not that confident yet, just let go of the acceleration. You don't need to hit the brakes really. If it is very rare times really to be honest it's very comfortable the best handling in the game i'd say for a land vehicle you know obviously no surprise it is a f1 vehicle it's meant to handle really well at top speeds and this is definitely it yeah nothing to be disappointed on that so yeah worst comes the worst just tap on the brakes but generally just let go acceleration or just keep holding down the acceleration really comfortable handling Top speed on this vehicle, at least when you look for like an F1 obviously, then it's not that great. It only goes a maximum at max 120, but probably average 110. So this is where hopefully eventually, at least at time recording, you cannot get HSW upgrade, but hopefully eventually you can. So it increases that top speed because it needs it for this F1 vehicle. But overall, it gives you the max speed in the game brakes on this vehicle which is yet again probably no surprise but i think it's the best brakes in the game for a land vehicle this is probably one of the best if not it's up there 100 percent you'll see it's so really good you won't be disappointed with this vehicle you get a free boost with it it's press with the l3 button at least on the controller and as you can see it's really good here it gives you a nice little boost for a start if you want to get going and you can see it's the only way to power it back up again and get that boost you need to let go of acceleration you don't have to fully stop the vehicle but it would speed up quicker though to get the boost but as long as you let go of acceleration it will slowly get the boost back up but once it's back at maximum you can boost again so it's a nice little boost really it's nothing amazing but it'll get you going especially if you start the vehicle up so I'd like to give my final thoughts on this vehicle, but the main question, is it worth it? No, not at default price where it's $3 million, that's way too much, but at least at time recording where it's like 1.7, 1.8 million, I go yes, it's a nice price for that, especially if you like to use this in free mode, this is definitely a great vehicle to use, especially you'll have fun with the handling and have those top speeds mixed in at the same time, it feels great when you get that turning and you don't have to let go acceleration, it feels real good, at least to me anyway, you, you enjoy it, you get addicted to it. But yeah, hopefully one day, any one thing I request really from Rockstar is just add the HSW upgrade to the F1 vehicles. Maybe not all of them, but some would, would go a long way. That's why I asked, so it improves the top speed because going 110 miles per hour average, it's not enough. You need to go at least probably like 150, 160, which is around like that speed in the game for um, HSW upgrades. So hopefully one day they add that in for F1s and then it'll feel like an F1 a bit more then with the top speeds, but it's got the handling in the brakes, just need the top speed and then it'll be like a true F1. At least that time recording, I think it's worth 1.7 million, but once the HSW upgrade availability is a thing, then I'll probably say it's worth 3 million then because you get the whole F1 vehicle then, all of it. All the things it's meant to do will be all there. That's how I look at it. So I hope this video helped though. If it did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe is up to you. If not, check out the playlist. Reviews or tutorials. You never know, scroll through, something might be there. If not, thank you for watching this video everyone.